Hello and welcome to the Control M for Workload Automation video series. In this video, we will show you how to define variables in the text file indicated in the variable percent percent live mem sim of your Control M job and or folder definitions. We will also show you how you will be using such live mem sim text files in your job definitions. Before we proceed to the demonstration, a couple of things to remember. First, the file defined in percent percent live mem sim variable must be accessible from the control M server. Second, the specified file is accessed at the time the job is submitted for execution by control M. Let's look at a couple of live mem sim text files we will be using for this exercise. As you can see, we have in our escalations folder a file named hr.txt and a file named payroll.txt. Let's look at what's inside of them. Let's look at HR. As you can see, the format of the variable list inside the live mem sim is percent percent variable, the equal sign, and the variable value. So it would be percent percent bar one, for example, the equal sign, and the variable value, which would be free text. As you can see from the rest of the list, you will have percent percent escalation email, equal sign, and the value of the escalation email, percent percent application underscore name, equal sign, and the value of the variable, which will be HR guy in this case, percent percent app underscore email equals sign and the value of that variable percent percent up up underscore phone equals sign and the value of that variable let's look at the other one it will look similar to our hr one as you can see we are using the same variable names for both live mem sim text file we are going to be using. Now let's look at how we will be using the live mem sim text file and the variable names and values that are inside them. Here we have two folders, the HR folder and the payroll folder. Let's look at our HR folder properties. We are going to define our live mem sim variable in our folder definition so that we don't have to define them in each of the job underneath the folders. As you can see, we are setting our live mem sim variable to the value C colon escalations percent percent APPLIC dot dot TXC. Now percent percent APPLC is a variable that will correspond to the value of your application. In this case, it is HR. So this live mem sim value is going to be pointing to hr.txt. Let's take a quick look at the payroll folder, and you will see that we pretty much did the same thing. Uh, if we look, the live mem sim is set to the same, percent percent applic.txt, and because our application is payroll, this live mem sim will be pointing to payroll.txt. Now let's look at how our jobs will be using the variables and values that are defined in our live mem sim text files. Look at our HR job one, click on properties. We are using our variables in the actions tab in the email that we are going to send when the job fails. As you can see on this do notify mail, we are using the percent percent escalation email and the to field and all the other variables we are putting in in the message that we are going to send to the person that will be handling this job abending. Again, if we look at our payroll job, we should see the same thing. And on the actions tab, and on the when job ended not okay. Again, as you can see, we are using the same variable names but because this is pointing to a different live mem sim, 
the variables would have different values, and we should be able to see that when we order these jobs. Now let's order the folder so we can see what email they send out and the variable substitutions that happens. Let's order the HR folder, order it, and let's order the payroll folder. Order it. If you look at the monitoring domain, you will see that our payroll jobs have ended not okay. We rigged it that way so we can see the email. We can look at the email that they will be sending. Let's look at the email sent by our HR job one. This is our HR job one. As you can see, the mail message from Control M. We are, and it's escalated the on call person for application HR, our APPLIC variable. The APPL name variable is HR guy. The APPL email is HR underscore group at bmc.com. And the APPL underscore phone is 555-1212. Now let's look at the email sent by our payroll job one. This is our payroll job one, and it failed. And the mail message from our email is the application is our percent percent APPLIC is payroll. Our APPL underscore name is set to the value payroll guy. Our APPL underscore email is set to payroll underscore group at bmc.com. And our APPL underscore phone is 555-9999. As you can see, even though we use the same variable names, because we are pointing to different percent percent live mem sim text files, um, we're using different variable values for the same variable names in our job definitions. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Thank you for watching. Please check our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.